Protein does great things for our bodies. It builds new cells, repairs old ones, strengthens our muscles and bones, and even helps us feel full between meals. We need to make sure we eat enough high-quality protein in our diet, especially as we age, so our bodies have the amino acids they need to function properly. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Every few minutes or so, it is possible to have dietary protein conversations. If you're a lifter yourself, you certainly understand why. Protein is, without a doubt, the most critical macronutrient for improving your body. In today's video, we will explore debunking myths and the real effects of drinking one protein shake daily. It is okay to drink one protein shake every day, however, it is important to remember that they are dietary supplements and should not be used to replace meals. While they're an easy and cheap way to boost your protein intake, drinking too much can lead to nutrient gaps or deficiencies that can negatively affect your health. Certain shakes, especially those made with whey and casein, are high biological value complete proteins, meaning they contain the same high quality protein you get from meat, fish, and eggs. Let's delve in to find the myths and real effects of drinking one protein shake per day. Myth 1. Protein powder is unnatural. Whey is one of the two components of cow's milk besides casein. It is found in the liquid left over from cottage cheese making and is then used to make whey protein powder formulations. Consuming it in powder form translates into more protein in each sip before you feel full. In your body, it fulfills all protein requirements and can be easily digested and absorbed by the body. Myth 2. You need protein powder to build muscle. Building muscle doesn't require consuming protein powder, however, it is an easy way to meet your protein goals. Protein contains amino acids, which are the building blocks for muscle growth. Protein powders provide your body with easily digestible amino acids that produce a more significant response with increased muscle synthesis. Protein powders have a high protein content in a significantly smaller serving size. If you consume the recommended amount of protein in your diet without protein powder, you can still experience muscle growth when combined with resistance training. Sources of protein include lean meat, poultry, eggs, dairy products, nuts and seeds, legumes, and beans. Before we explore the next debunking myth, subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to watch more interesting videos like this. Myth 3. Protein powder is only for people who go to the gym. Protein is a crucial macronutrient, regardless of whether you go to the gym or not. It has several functional and structural properties that are not just related to exercises, such as normal growth and development throughout life stages, adequate skeletal, smooth, and cardiac muscle for normal functioning of the body and its organs, skeletal muscle contraction, growth, recovery, and adaptation from physical activity and exercise, building joint cartilage, hair, skin, and nail cells, building other functional and cellular components, including hormones, enzymes, and antibodies. Last one, transportation of small molecules within cells and around the body. While one's recommended protein intake may be higher if they have specific fitness goals, protein is still crucial for those who don't. Protein powder may be consumed if you are looking for a convenient way to meet your protein intake, which is necessary if you want your body to function optimally. Myth 4. Plant-based protein is less effective than whey. Whey protein is considered a complete protein, containing all nine essential amino acids. On the other hand, plant-based protein powders aren't always complete, and this is where the myth comes in that they're not as effective as wheat. The protein content of a plant-based protein depends on where it is obtained, and only soy protein is considered complete. The other option is to blend multiple plant proteins to ensure that the powder contains all nine essential amino acids. True Protein's plant protein is a complete protein that combines pea, pumpkin, and brown rice proteins rather than non-dairy proteins. Whey protein is often considered the ultimate tool to help you reach your fitness goals. However, studies show that plant-based and whey proteins are equally effective. When it comes to muscle hypertrophy, research suggests that both wheat and plant-based powders help build muscle, as long as the powders contain similar amounts of proteins. Both protein powders promote feelings of fullness and therefore help encourage weight loss. Myth 5. Protein powder makes you bulky. This is one of the most commonly misunderstood facts about protein powders. When combined with an appropriate exercise regimen and calorie surplus, protein can actually aid in muscle growth. However, protein powder alone does not bulk you up. 
Bulking occurs when you eat a calorie surplus, meaning you consume more calories than your body burns in a day. If you maintain a healthy, balanced diet and eat the recommended amount of protein, you are unlikely to experience any bulking. Myth 6. Dairy-based proteins are bad for you. Some people may experience gastrointestinal problems after consuming whey protein. This is usually interpreted as whey protein being bad for you. However, this discomfort is actually related to lactose intolerance. Whey protein is obtained from milk and is a byproduct of the cheesemaking process. Therefore, when eating other dairy products such as cheese or milk, people with stomach problems may experience discomfort after eating wheat. There are plenty of plant-based protein options for those who don't tolerate dairy well, however, it's fine to consume whole whey protein unless you're lactose intolerant. Myth 7. Endurance athletes do not need protein. Common to all sports, including endurance sports such as running, swimming, and cycling, is the gradual loss of muscle mass. As endurance sports have become popular during lockdown, there is a greater need for people to be aware of the role of protein in rebuilding and repairing muscles after an intense session. Depending on their physical activity, endurance athletes may actually need to consume more protein each day than their non-athletic counterparts. Myth 8. Your age doesn't matter when it comes to protein needs. Experts agree that protein needs increase with aging and illness. Losing muscle mass is a natural part of aging, and some older adults can lose up to 8% of their muscle mass every decade after age 40. It can damage your stamina and energy levels, making things that were once easy more challenging. Plus, as you age, your body becomes less efficient at using protein, so you need more protein to reap the benefits. Compared to younger adults, older adults may require up to twice the protein intake at one time to maximize the rate of muscle protein synthesis after exercise. Even older adults who do not exercise may need 50% more daily protein. In conclusion, with a little protein knowledge, you can prioritize this essential nutrient at every meal to maintain your strength, energy, and overall health. So, that's it for today. Do like, comment, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.